three WSB record, the 2010 champion of the Poland International Tournament. Please put your hands together for Yazan Musafirov. <laughs> one win under his belt in the WSB, the man who was recently crowned the national champion. He is the reigning one. They know what I'm talking about over here. Put your hands together. From the Venkis, Mumbai fighters, it is Devakar, DK47, Prashad. <laughs> परवाजें रोके हर ऐसी बंदिश के मुंह पे दुश्मन दुश्मन की जोर कट पे जाके उसकी हर साजिश के मुंह पे दुश्मन Well, that's the referee, René Just of the Slovak Republic, who will be in charge of the proceedings in the ring. It's Divakar Prasad and versus Yerjan Musafirov. And uh, there's the judges, Ishanguli Mertnov of Turkmenistan, Raymond Molly of England, and uh, Michael William Gallagher of Ireland. So this is the lightweight bout, and there you see Yerjan Musafirov lost his only bout, ranked number 17 of Kazakhstan, uh, Musafarov is uh, certainly a man who will be looking at uh, beg your pardon, Musafarov is uh, there you see Divakar Prasad won his only bout that was against Milan and a good victory there for uh, Divakar Prasad when he beat uh, Juan Javier Carrasco Herrera at the game in Pune that was in week number one. So Divakar Prasad already has a win under his belt and is uh, there you see the bout lightweight Divakar Prasad of Venkis Mumbai Fighters versus Yerjan Musafirov of Astana Arlans. Musafirov was an individual finalist in the 2010-11 season where he lost to the Chinese fighters Yang Chimin. There we see some of the guests. The patron of the Venkis uh, Mumbai fighters team. Round one. Uh, round one in progress and once again it's the Venkis Mumbai fighters Devakar Prasad in the black shots with uh, Yerjan Musafirov of Kazakhstan in the gold shots. See how Ivakar Prasad can uh, recover and get Venkis uh, Mumbai fighters on uh, the back on level terms. Because at the moment, the home team is uh, about down. Remember, it's a best of five bouts contest. And this time, Musafirov, with all using all his experience, pushing Divakar Prasad. Only Divakar Prasad is the taller of the two. Divakar Prasad uh, stands at uh, a good 173 centimeters against 168, so a five centimeter or a good two inch plus advantage. And Divakar Prasad coming very, very strongly. Has always had a very good performance in the national championships, but uh, not shown the same promise in the international competitions but here he's showing a 
to much improved performance using the opportunity to throw punches not like uh, Balbir who was uh, catching air mostly but Devaka Prasad is trying to go for the jugular right from the beginning and throwing the straight right straight to get advantage and use his better reach to a better advantage minute 20 remaining in round number one remember it's a five round contest of three minutes each in Musafarov trying to soften up the back of Prasad with a few blows to the midriff but unfortunately didn't have much of an effect and Divakar Prasad made sure that he was in the right position Divakar coming in close remember this is a lightweight bout under 61 kilograms and Divakar again manages to throw a good left so fighting against the individual finalist and number one ranked boxer from last season Yershan Musafirov of Kazakhstan lost in the 10-11 season final to Wang Jimin, but this time with Divakar has connected very well with the right and uh, Musafirov coming back very strongly. That's the final 30 seconds of round number one. Divakar Prasad now gets the crowd going for him as he again lands a good left. So he's got uh, Musafirov a little on the back foot. Again going for a massive right but uh, not able to make sure and that's the bell signaling round number one. Close and this was certainly a very close round. We'll have to see how the judges scored because they would have seen it much closer than what we could have uh, imagined. So round number one, look back and there you see Divakar Prasad on the attack, manages to push uh, Musafarov back, Musafarov coming in close but not landing, there's the one left that he did land but uh, Divakar Prasad came back with a couple very strongly and Divakar may have done just enough to get the nod from the judges. We'll have to wait and see how the judges have scored but Divakar Prasad has uh, one on all three judges cards so that's a good start from Divakar Prasad has done enough to get the verdict on all three judges cards and has started with a good aggressive display in round number one round number two and Divakar Prasad can he can keep that momentum going that's going to be the key the crowd solidly behind the Benkis Mumbai fighters quite expected because after all this uh, bout is being held in uh, Mumbai box mobile arena in Orbit Mall Mumbai is the venue open air venue and Divakar Prasad once again Divakar Prasad going in for a one solid to the midriff again not able to make an impression but he's got Musafirov on the back foot, Divakar Prasad with his aggressive intent. Keeping things close. It's gonna be a tough one for Musafirov to come back and Yerjan Musafirov has realized that he's got a tough nut to crack now. Divakar Prasad can feel it, that he can uh, put it across this man who was ranked number one in the last season. Astana Arlan's were the finalists last season. They lost in the finals to Paris United. Paris United, the defending champions of World Series boxing, but it was a very different format last year where it was played as a continental competition in groups. This year, it's more global. The low low come Musafarov trying to come in low to avoid the stinging traits coming from Divakar Prasad and immediately Reni just the referee from the Slovak Republic signaling to the boxer that he has to keep his head up Divakar Prasad there again having the advantage that he has managed to unsettle his opponent quite a bit round number one gone for the Indian 
And now once again, Divakar Prasad close to the ropes, but uh, gets into a clinch and makes sure that there's not enough distance to, for his opponent to throw a punch. More pushing and shoving rather than boxing going on there in the ring. And the referee, Rene just quite rightly decided to step in. Referees wait for the boxers. And it's time Musakarov against again, closing in, but Divakar Prasad too wily. Steps back and then throws a combination. Neither boxer manages to connect. But Divakar Prasad going good aggressive intent. Remains to be seen if he's uh, keeping his opponent in trouble. There we see round number two coming to a close. And this round has been little more even than round number one we'll have to see how the men scored on the judges cards but Divakar Prasad may just have a his way through because of his uh, aggressive intent there you see the good start from Divakar Prasad and the combination had Musafirov uh, in a spot of bother as he kept uh, pounding with the combinations and managed to make sure that uh, they will uh, be scoring on the judges cards Divakar Prasad did not allow and there you see the hockey team watching the boxing action hockey team part of the Mumbai Warriors team watching action and uh, we wait for and again once again Devakar Prasad has managed to score on all three judges cards so the red corner leads and Devakar Prasad has uh, got the advantage in the first two rounds let's see if we can keep the momentum up that's gonna be the key Devakar Prasad's aggressive intent scoring well on the judges cards cut the first two rounds in his favor and now can afford to push Musafirov a little behind once again scores with a left straight to the head coming in close Musafirov knows that he's uh, back but Divakar Prasad keeping him off balance with good rights to the head Musafirov desperate now on the back foot he is after all ranked number one and he's got plenty to prove here but unfortunately for him Divakar Prasad is proving to be a tough nut to crack and scoring steadily on all three judges cards he has got the lead in the first two rounds and in this round again matching him punch for punch good display from Divakar Prasad showing good understanding of ring craft keeping out of harm's way and landing punches whenever the opportunity presents go towards the halfway mark of round number three Divakar Prasad would have the advantage in Musafirov trying to throw a combination but uh, unfortunately for him finds only air and Divakar has uh, keep, kept him uh, off balance Musafirov once again coming in a little too close this time lands a good left Divakar went down, but uh, no damage done there. Musafirov coming in with a desperate flurry of punches, and Divakar knows better than to stay too close to his opponent. Round number three, final minute in progress now. Divakar Prasad once again keeping his uh, opponent off balance with some close punching. And if he can get this round, from the judges he would have certainly done more than enough to score but uh, Musafirov would have gone and this time Divakar goes down for the count taking the standing eight count six seven eight and that is uh, Divakar back in action but Musafirov now troubling the Indian Tough time for Divakar as he approached the final 10 seconds of round number three. He's got to hang in there. This round has certainly gone way of uh, 
Kirjan Musafirov of Kazakhstan. And there's the bell signaling end of round number three. Divakar looking a little bit of tired, panting in his corner as he came back to rest on the stool on the red. A little of uh, balance, but Shiv Kumar Pal would have a lot to tell him. He's got to come back and come back strong. He started well in the round, third round, but then went down after a flurry of punches to the body. That was a bit of a surprise because uh, Musafirov had been concentrating on uh, damaging Divakar with punches to the body and he managed to get it quite successfully. So we got to see how the judges have scored but uh, this round certainly going, yes, it has gone in favor of uh, the blue corner and at the moment we are about even Stevens one point lead for Divakar going into round number four and now it's gonna be about staying power Divakar has got to show a lot of heart bit of a birdie duel there between two and uh, immediately the referee stepped in just of the Slovak Republic making sure the fight is fair but now Musafirov once again has got Divakar on the mat Divakar taking the count referee willing giving the eight is he gonna continue yes he is and no he will not Shiv Kumar Paul throws in the towel and it is uh, the Kazakh boss boxer who gets a technical knockout. Yerjan Musafirov has uh, certainly impressed enough and has got the verdict with two minutes, 12 seconds remaining in round number four. So it was uh, just 48 seconds into the fourth round that Devakar went down to the mat and the attack to his body from uh, Musafirov is uh, was enough to upset the Indian boxer Devakar Prasad who was not able to stomach the punishment and uh, there you see the count referee Rene just looking back at the boxer and the corner because uh, the boxer was in trouble and uh, as we await the un formal announcement of the results, there is absolutely no doubt that it is Yerjan Musafirov. Ladies and gentlemen, have the results of this night's bout. The referee has stopped the contest and declared everything for the knockout. And it is in favor of the blue corner, Yerjan Musafirov of the Astana Armin. There you have the result. Yerjan Musafirov winning on a technical knockout in round number four 48 seconds in the fourth round Yerjan Musafirov justifying his number one ranking from last season beating Divakar Prasad of Venki's Mumbai fighters so Astana Arlans 2-0 up after the first two bouts and it's middleweight coming up next after the short break